everybody, I'm Danielle from Peas Love and Carrots back again with a special mystery box episode for Dum 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 Hanukkah. All right, so let's just jump right in. First of all, I love the box. Best present ever. Hey Danielle, here's my cabinet. Make me dinner. Thanks, Khani. <laughs> Khani is the editor here at kosher.com. Let's see what she has in her cabinet. Olive oil. Okay, thank you. It's like you knew that this would be hard for me. Okay. Geffen Hearts of Palm Gluten-Free Spaghetti. Whoa, this is super cool. Okay, let's see. <gasps> halloumi cheese! I love halloumi cheese! That was so exciting! <gasps> it's peas loving hair. That's my recipe. This is Tuscanini tomato sauce. It is the best tomato sauce ever. It is just tomatoes. Can you see this? Tomatoes and salt. That's it. Scallions. I love scallions. They know me. They know me. Spring roll wrappers. That's amazing. Um, okay, so we are making something with spring roll wrappers, halloumi cheese, scallions, hearts of palm, and tomato sauce. Schnookums. What are we making? All right, I need to go gather a few things from my pantry to make something really awesome out of this. I'll be right back. Okay, I have to say, Khani, you threw me for a loop. The combination of the hearts and palm spaghetti with the tomato sauce sent me my mind in two different directions and then literally light bulb moments. I'm standing at the pantry and I know exactly what I'm gonna do and it's gonna be amazing, like not normal. Okay, are you ready for me to tell you? Dum, dum, dum. We are making spring roll wrapper cups. We're filling them with a spicy arugula salad and we are making sweet and sour crispy halloumi croutons. I know, I know. This is unprecedented. I never made it before. I hope it works, but in my mind, I know it will. I'm salivating. You taste it already. Let's just get going. Okay, the first thing we need to do is just make our salad dressing to like drizzle over the top. This is very, very simple. Jar raspberry jam. I'm gonna take our raspberry jam, pop it right into the bottom of the jar. And we're going to cut our raspberry jam with some balsamic vinegar. Let's get that right in there. A lime. I know, my number one fave ingredient. But you know what, it's the best of the acids because it's acidic but it's sweet and the flavor is delicious. Okay, let's squeeze that baby in. We're gonna take some black pepper. Let's grind that right in. The pepper tastes significantly different. It's not powdered pepper. Like if I say a teaspoon of pepper and you use a teaspoon of powdered pepper, it's a whole different thing. First of all, your food's too peppery. It doesn't taste right. It's just, it's such a little investment and your food will taste so much more delicious. Okay, some kosher salt. A typical vinaigrette is two to one. Acid to oil. Um, we're gonna go a little bit less than two to one. Jar, closed jar. Make sure the jar is sealed really tightly. I have done this before, folks. Really tight. Shake it up. If you have kids that are like standing around you that want a job in the kitchen, they can shake this for like an hour. There we go, we have our salad dressing. We can set this aside. Let's make the salad components first, set that aside, then we're gonna get right into our sweet and sour, spicy, crispy halloumi croutons. Okay, first thing we wanna do is just prep some scallions, but we are going to want to separate our whites and greens. I'm gonna go ahead and dice my purple onion. Set your onions aside. Let's move on to our avocado. Let's remove that pit. So I'm gonna show you, tap it hard enough. Get the pit out. Do not grab the pit this way. Use these two fingers. Grab the knife like that. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Boom, no cuts. There we go, a little grid. That's it, these are our salad components. Arugula, scallion, onion, avocado. Now it's time for our sweet and sour, spicy, crispy halloumi croutons. This brick is pretty thick, so I'm just gonna slice the whole thing in half so that I can make about half inch squares. All right, once your halloumi is cubed, just like this, we're gonna get our pan, 
on. We're gonna turn the flame to medium high heat because we want the halloumi to have time to crisp up on the outside while the center has time to get like ooey and gooey. Let's get a little bit of oil into our pan and we're gonna take our first batch of halloumi and stick it in. We do wanna do this in batches because we wanna give the halloumi room to really fry. Okay, we're just gonna move these around. Do you see what's happening here? Do you see these crispy edges? Do you see them? They are amazing. That is everything. That is what you want. All right, we're just gonna get these pieces of halloumi out of the pan so that we can start crisping up the next batch. Oh my gosh. All right, so once your halloumi is 95% ready, we're gonna go ahead and add our scallions because we just wanna give those a little head start when we're making our sweet and sour sauce. Just give that a little toss. Now let's pop back in the rest of our halloumi cheese. There we go. We're gonna lower the flame just a bit. And it's time to sweet and sour these babies up. First things first, I'm using smoked paprika. We're gonna go in with about a quarter teaspoon here, not too much. Halloumi cheese is a bit on the salty side, so just a little pinch of kosher salt, not too much. Let's toss that up again. And now we're gonna build our sweet and sour sauce. So this is really basic. We are using the Toscanini tomato sauce, AKA peas love and carrot sauce. We're going to add one, two, three, four, five tablespoons of sauce. We're popping in brown sugar. We are gonna go in with two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. That's gonna be the sour elements here. It is becoming syrupy. It is glazing. It is reducing. This, this is beyond. Oh my gosh. This is a one pan meal, guys. We're just gonna take our paper towel, just wipe out the bottom of the pan. We're gonna add in a little bit more oil. It is Hanukkah after all, eight days of frying. I have this really crazy idea that I wanna fry it and the second it take comes out of the fryer, I wanna pop it into this bowl. What's gonna happen is that it's gonna harden in this bowl. We're going to remove the bowl and we are going to have a spring bowl. <laughs> a spring bowl wrapper. We're gonna grab our spring roll wrapper have your tongs ready, okay? We're gonna take the spring roll wrapper and we're gonna lay it away from us so that any splatters that happen, happen that way. And we're gonna move very, very quickly, folks. One, two, three. Just get it wet, get it wet on both sides. It's still soft, it's still soft. Get it out, drop it in your bowl, just like that. Let it cool. All right, so we're gonna start with our arugula. I love arugula, the spicy peppery notes. Okay, we're gonna sprinkle a little purple onion. You're gonna grab your heart's palm can that you don't have to cut up. This is beautiful. It's like all the work is done for you. Thank you, Geffen. We're gonna go in with a few pieces of avocado. I just love the creaminess that this is gonna bring to the dish, plus like, I mean, avocado. We're just gonna add a little bit of dressing to our cups. We don't need too much because we have a lot of flavor from the halloumi. And last but not least, stick a few on each spring bowl wrapper salad cup. Here it is, folks. Our sweet and sour crispy halloumi croutons in our super crispy spring bowl wrapper cups. Um, please do not be limited by your imagination. The cups are so crunchy. Tap, tap, tap. I know you heard that. And the croutons are out of this world. Guys, I'm Danielle here on kosher.com. And I just want to wish you an amazing, amazing Hanukkah. Bye, everybody.